All right, guys. So the other day, I done a video on the motorway um, real range on the Tesla Model S 75D, and I averaged about seven, uh, 250 watts per mile. Um, now I've got that down now. Like I can, if I'm doing that, was like 70 with passengers, and if I'm going up and down the motorway, I've I've got it down to like. 200 180 230s so i've got that down now on the motorway and then i thought to myself ev car everyone tells you everyone tells you that the bad on the motorway and great around town right everyone everyone says that don't they about ev cars because of the regen braking you don't get regen braking or you don't get much regen braking on the motorways right so there's me getting really good figures between two and 250 watts per miles on the motorway, right? By the way, I'm going to throw a little chart up in a bit. Pause the video uh, and read the figures of what the watts per mile mean when it comes to money, uh, cost per mile, stuff like that. Uh, but lower the watts per mile means the range goes on for longer, which means the cost per mile is less. So you want the watts per mile lower, low as possible. More watts per mile, more you're using, less, more, more it costs, yeah? So, I was getting on the motorway, 2 to 2.50. And then last Friday, I've been, I've been <clears throat> trying this, right? Last Friday, I stayed under 40 mile an hour, and I worked Uber, and I literally just bounced around town. Stop start traffic, slowing down, sl speeding up so slow. The settings in this is chill for acceleration. So it's proper s slow taking up and regen and slowing down. The only thing about this is the regen isn't that strong, even on its highest setting. And you can't really one pedal it, um, like the newer EVs. So I don't know if this is the reason why. But around town is worse than the motorway. Like how? Guys, I know I've got a lot of EV guys watching this. Let me know. Like, I know how to drive them. I know how to get good range. I know about the aircon, the heating, windows open, windows closed. But I tested everything on Friday. And I mean everything, every tactic, everything. And literally, it was between 250 and 300, 320 watts per mile driving around town. Is this car just like a like a like a mystery, or is this type of car because it's the Model S, because it's it is the more the executive motorway chauffeur car in its fleet, has it somehow been optimized to do better on the motorway than around town? I don't know, guys. I don't know. As anyone watching this video who's got an EV can get better watts per mile or better kilowatts per mile on the motorway than you can around town. Please let me know. I cannot be the only one, surely. But yeah, absolutely gobsmack, guys. So, I'll follow the chart up again. Um, 200 watts to 250 watts per mile on the motorway. And 250 to 300 watts around town. With the regen, the slow, break-in. I, I didn't have the aircon on. Around town, I had the windows cracked. It was roasting. And I did the windows cracked and have the aircon on for a bit to test it. And I put the aircon on. It went up, obviously. But I could not get it lower than 250. Like, mad. Mad. I've just come off a motorway run now. And I'm just on 198 on the motorway. I, honestly, please, EV guys. Calling all EV guys, Tesla people. Let me know why. And is, it, is this unusual or am I just being daft? Yeah? Nice one, guys. But at least you know now. Um, the real range is literally depending on how you drive it. So what's that between two and three hundred watts per mile? So I'm getting, I can't even do the math off the top of my head while I'm on the video. So just cut yeah, I'm going to call it now two to three hundred watts per mile. Give me two seconds, let me do the math. All right, guys. So three hundred watts per mile, it uh, gets me around two hundred and forty-five mile range. Now, obviously, this is this is like the uh, projected range for this particular one, the 75D. 
is 300 mile. So I get, if I get 300 watts per mile, I get about 245 mile range. Now if I can stick to 200 watts per mile, which is probably 60 mile an hour on a motorway cruising, um, I could get 365 mile range. So my, so when people ask me now, oh, what range you get your car? It's between 250 and 350, depending. Um, but yeah, please let me know in the comments, guys. What am I doing wrong or what's going on with this car? Do you know what I mean? Because it, it is, it, it is a big mystery. I, I can't wait to get and get me around town usage down, me watts per mile down. But honestly, I've tried my best on Friday, and I just, yeah, just struggled. So I had every tick in the book, mate. Couldn't get under 250. So listen, guys, thanks very much for watching. I am knackered. I'm going to go and chill, have some family time, and maybe a barbecue before the rain comes. So yeah, nice one. Catch you all later. See you soon.